I am Dr. J. Mahamayi, Associate Professor of Commerce, Vivi Vanyapurmal College for Women. I am very proud to take the class on the program BCom. The course is Banking Theory, Law and Practice. First, Origin of Banking. In olden days, that is pre-independence, there will be some Second World War. In that case, there is a much need of money. So, in that time, two persons, one person who is having much money and another person is in need of money. So, one person giving the money is called giver, one person receiving the money is called receiver. The two persons are joined together and they are sitting on a bench by transacting their business. This is the origin of the term bank derives. So, the word bank is derived from the French word banco or bankers which means a bench. I have already told in the banking business in olden days two persons are sitting on a bench for transacting the banking business. So, two persons, one giving the money and one who receives the money. Next, before starting the relationship between banker and customer, one should know the term banker. So, who is banker? A person who is doing the banking business is called as banker. The banker may need not be an individual. He may be a body of persons, whether incorporated or not, who carry on the business of banking. According to Section 3 of Negotiable Instruments Act, the banker includes a person or corporation or a company acting as a banker. The essential business of a banker is to buy a money and debts by creating other debts. So, a banker is essentially a dealer in debts or credit. So, in short, banker is a person who is doing the banking business. The banker need not be an individual, he may be a corporation or body of individuals may be. So, the term banker is derived, the Latin word, French word bankers, on the same principle. The bank or the main duty is for accepting the deposits and lending the money. The term bank in the ordinary course of business, they have honored the check drawn on by person from and for whom he receives the account, current account. The account may be a savings account or a fixed deposit account or recurring deposit account. So, in short, the people, they are having high amount of cash for want of safety and security. If it is having in a home, it is a not safety. So, they want to deposit the money into the banker. At the same way, the bank accepting the deposits given by the public. Now the question is, the amount collected as a deposits from the bank, what the bank is doing? Suppose if they are having all the deposit money received from the customer is kept as ideal in the bank, it is a waste of money, it is capital is locked. So, the banker is advised to lend a loan to the borrowers, that is money lenders, instead of money lenders, public they want to lender, they want to borrow the money from the bankers. So, in a modern world, the bank is readily offered, immediately uh, offer a loan, either be education loan and car loan, housing loan, agriculture loan, etc. So, one person giving the money in the form of deposits and another person accept the deposits given by the banker and they ready to give a money as a loan to the borrowers. So, in short, banking has been defined as accepting for the purpose of lending. The bank is accepting readily without any hesitation, accepting the other's money in the form of deposits. For what purpose? For the purpose of lending and if they are kept as ideal, all the deposits are waste. So, they have to make an investment of the deposits received from the public, repayable on demand. Whenever the uh, public or customer request the money to pay, immediately the bank they have to make a repayment or order, order or withdrawal by check, draft or order otherwise. So, in short, 
banker is one who is doing the banking business who is readily accepting for the purpose of lending the money and make investment of the deposits from the public repayable on demand or order or otherwise withdrawable by the customer by check or draft or order otherwise next the question is who is a customer according to section 131 of negotiable instruments act a customer is a person who is having the bank account so anybody who is having the bank account his name is called as customer some people merely opening an account they are having called as a customer no a person who is having the account at the same time he is having a regular habit of going to the bank for doing the banking business just they have visit the bank and they consult the manager and they come to the home he is not a customer he has to go to the bank for doing some banking transactions and they have to have a regular making habit to visit the bank so to constitute a customer there must be recognizable course or habit of dealing in the regular or banking business so in short according to section 131 the customer is in good faith he must be some sort of account the account may be either deposit current account or it may be a fixed deposit and keep a ordinary banking account is not essential to constitute a person as a banker so the customer to constitute a customer he must be some recognizable course of habit of going to the bank next one in what's the relationship between banker and customer i have already told banker is a person who is doing banking business customer is a person who is receiving money in the form of loan and they have to make the deposits they having some sort of account in the bank he is called as customer now that's a relationship between banker and the customer first one is depository relationship the bank accept the deposit from the customer so the banker is a depositee and the customer is a depositor next one is the banker is a bailee the bailee means the banker is also having a right to receive some ornaments valuables for safe custody for example we are having the our gold uh, ornaments and uh, uh, silver uh, articles in the locker so they accept our readily our ornaments for the purpose of safe custody in that position the banker is called as bailee the customer is called as bailor next one is the banker is a trustee they have to maintain our accounts in the trust purpose the next one the banker is a agent the banker is acting as a agent for doing so many small function they have to pay the insurance premium on behalf of the customer they have to pay the water bills they have to um, pay the loan so on behalf of the customer he is paying as a agent in the capacity of agent next one is the debtor and the creditor relationship now the person who is giving the money is called creditor one who receiving the money is debtor now the bank is acting both function at the time of accepting deposit he is acting as a debtor at the time of lending the money to the borrower yes he is acting as a creditor so the relationship between banker and customer is is acting as a depository acting as a bailee acting as a trustee acting as a agent and he has acting as debtor and creditor relationship and sometimes the banker is acting as a privileged debtor as compared to normal debtor the bank is also enjoying some sort of privileges what are the privileges enjoy na in case of ordinary commercial debt the debtor can pay the money to the creditor but in case of uh, bank debt the demand is made by the creditor to pay only the particular branch and the account is kept next one is ordinary commercial debt whereas the demand for repayment should be made only during specified banking hours the banker is able to get deposit money without giving any security but the normal ordinary debt the customer they have to give a hand over the security to the lender at the time of getting loans thank you